Hey, yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Ian with Real City. I got a cool one for you today. We're going to be comparing a... Oh, wow. It's not here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay, we're going to be comparing a Turner model... Model 707 ceramic mic with a six-foot cord. Uh, this is made in USA. In Cedar Rapids, Iowa specifically. How cool is that shit? Good luck finding any mics made out of Iowa nowadays. Um, wow, that's really cool. And <laughs> even better still, this bad boy was uh, 1250 back in the day. Uh, yep, Turner 707, there it is on the microphone. We're gonna be comparing this to a mic that you probably know and love. I don't have it with me, but it's a Shure SM57. If you've never used a Shure SM57 before, chances are the guitars or the snare drum on one of your favorite albums was mic'd using a Shure SM57. Uh, one of the most famous mics of all time for its ability to uh, not pick up external noise in noisy settings, like you, if you have it on a snare drum in a drum kit, when every, you know, cymbals and stuff are blaring. And uh, just for its uh, frequency response that tends to set well in a mix, like if you're trying to get guitars to sit right in a mix. But anyway, uh, so as I mentioned, Shura SM57 is a dynamic microphone. This is a ceramic microphone. I don't know what that is. This doesn't require any sort of power. Uh, in fact, in contrast to old ribbon mics, it's built like a rock. I shy away from old stuff because I don't like fragile because anything that can be broken, I, I will break it. But this thing is built like a rock. And if it being built like a rock wasn't raw enough, check this out. The plug-in is just an instrument cable plug-in so you can plug it into your guitar amp and scream. Everybody loves to do that. Um, just in terms of what this comes with, I got this at an estate sale for like two bucks. They go for, I think, anywhere between 40 and 60 on eBay. Um, here's the box. Um, and then it comes with uh, a sentence I never thought I would say, but the nicest cardboard pouch I've ever seen in my whole life. I wish I could shrink myself down and sleep in this. Oh my God, it's such a comfy cardboard pouch. Turn our microphones. And then one last just kind of vintage visual on this thing. The mic even has the tag still intact. So I'll just let you uh, read that really fast. I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. I feel like anybody into music gear, the more original stuff comes with it, the more, uh, the cooler it is. And, and this, as far as I could tell, came with, with everything. It was like I was buying it new from, I think it said Sears somewhere on it. Made in USA, yeah. Um, but anyway, we're gonna listen to how this sounds. I'm going to close mic some stuff. Uh, I'm going to play guitar and sing in it. And of course, for this mic, there's only one song that could possibly go with it. Let's do it.
Test, test, test. Chair was a race car driver. He drove so goddamn fast. Never did win with checkered flags, but he never did come in last. Jerry was a race car driver. He'd say, fellas, I'm number one. With the bull sticker on his 414, he'd light him up just for fun. Ah. Ah. Captain Pierce was fireman. Richmond engine number three. I'd be a wealthy man if I had a dime for all the things that the captain taught to me. Yeah, Captain Pierce is a strong man. Strong as man alive. Stuck in his crawl and made him retire at the age of 65. Ah, ah. Jerry was a race car driver, 22 years old, one too many cabars, one nine, wrapped himself around telephone pole, gone. Jerry was a race car driver, he drove so goddamn fast, never did win no checkered flags, but he never did come in last. Jerry was a race car driver, he'd say, fellas, I'm number one, with the bull sticker on his 414, he'd light him up just for fun. Ah, ah. Captain Pierce was fireman, Richmond engine number three. I'd be a wealthy man if I had a dime for all the things that the captain taught to me. Yeah, Captain Pierce was strong man, strong as any man alive. Stuck in his crawl and made him retire at the age of 65. Ah, ah. Jerry was a race car driver, 22 years old. One too many cabars, one nine, wrap self round telephone pole gone. Well, that's it, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed the comparison there. Uh, my biggest takeaway, this obviously is the epitome of an old-time radio effect. It is the perfect old-time radio effect, I would go so far as to say. Forget plugins and all that stuff, EQ, whatever. Stop sweating over you, your EQ. Use one of these things if you can. Um, but... uh. You know, despite it's the fact that, you know, there's a volume reduction you have to compensate for. A lot of frequencies get chopped off in the high and low end with this. Um, I thought it sounded very, very charming. Very charming, Mike. And I dig it. And you probably did, too. Um, but anyway, if you have any questions or you had any good times with one of these mics, feel free to leave it, leave it in the comments. Uh, my name is Ian with Real City. Feel free to check out my channel for other reviews of gear and, like, music that I post. And uh, yeah, have a good day.